वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ बाय विजन अकेडमी स्टूडेंट्स इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट व्हाट इज फ्लोरोसेंस एंड व्हाट इज फॉस्फोरेंस ओके इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन फ्लोरोसेंस एंड फॉस्फोरेंस ओके सो द फर्स्ट डिफरेंस बिटवीन द फ्लोरोसेंस एंड द फॉस्फोरेंस इज देयर इमिशन एज यू नो दैट फ्लोरोसेंस इज एन इंस्टेंट इमिशन ऑफ रेडिएशन इज एन इंस्टेंट इमिशन ऑफ रेडिएशन इंस्टेंट इमिशन वेर एज फॉस्फोरेंस इज अ डिलेड इमिशन ऑफ रेडिएशन फॉस्फोरेंस इज अ डिलेड इमिशन got it second difference the time of fluorescence is about 10 to the power minus 4 to 10 to the power minus 8 second whereas the time of phosphorescence is about 10 to the power minus 3 to 10 to the power minus 5 second okay students fluorescence takes place in those molecules in which electrons are present in singlet state okay electrons are present in singlet state whereas phosphorus takes place in those molecules in which electrons are present in triplet state electrons are present in triplet state got it now the fourth difference fluorescence generally the property of liquid sample or you can say liquid molecule liquid molecule whereas phosphorus is the property of rigid molecule okay phosphorus is the property of rigid molecule got it now the fifth difference student fluorescence generally takes place at moderate temperature okay moderate temperature whereas phosphorescence generally takes place at low temperature generally takes place at low temperature now the sixth difference student what happen if we block the source of an energy okay suppose that it is a radiation and this radiation is incident on the fluorophor molecule then if we block the energy okay if we block the energy then the process of fluorescence is stop then the process of fluorescence is stopped it means for the continuation of fluorescence there is a continuous requirement of energy is required okay but in case of phosphorescence suppose that it is a radiation and it is a molecule okay what happen if we block the radiation in case of phosphorescence student blocking of radiation does not affect the process of phosphorus once it is started it means in the absence of energy source the process of fluorescence sorry phosphorus is still goes on okay from minutes to several hours so students these are some differences between the fluorescence and 
phosphorus okay now as i told you there is an instant emission in case of fluorescence and there is a delayed emission in case of phosphorus so let's talk about why there is an instant emission in case of fluorescence and why there is a delayed emission in case of phosphorus okay student triplet state of an electron okay triplet state sorry singlet state of an electron singlet state of an electron in case of fluorescence is responsible for an instant emission so singlet state of an electron in case of fluorescence is responsible for instant emission whereas triplet state whereas triplet state of an electron is responsible for delayed emission in case of phosphorescence okay now let's talk about what is singlet state of an electron and what is triplet state of an electron okay student generally molecule contain paired electron suppose that these are two paired electron okay and you know that electrons are negatively charged okay student electrons has the property that it rotate around its own axis okay so this electron is rotating in a clockwise direction and this electron is rotating in an anti clockwise direction so that state of electron in which both the electrons have opposite spin then this state of an electron is known as singlet state is known as singlet state which is responsible for an instant emission in case of fluorescence okay student you know that when a charged body rotate then it behave like a magnet and generate magnetic field in this case electron is negatively charged and it is also rotate around its own axis so electrons are also behave like a magnet so and generate magnetic field in this case if an electron is rotating in a clockwise direction then it magnetic field is indicated by using an arrow pointing up okay pointing up and if an electron is rotating in an anti clockwise direction then its magnetic field is indicated by using an arrow pointing down okay so you can say that the magnetic field generated by the opposite spin of an electrons are in anti parallel direction with each other are in anti parallel direction with each other and the electrons have opposite spin and this state of an electron is considered as singlet state now what is triplet state student those molecules in which both the electrons have same spin it means both the electrons are spin in same direction suppose that this electron is rotating in a clockwise direction then this electron is also rotating in a clockwise direction okay and their magnetic field are also in the same direction which is represented by using an arrow pointing up okay so you can say that the magnetic field generated by the spinning of the of an electron in same direction are in parallel direction with each other so the magnetic field are in parallel direction got it now student to explain the 
orientation of an electron around its own axis we use a term and the term is electron spin quantum number okay electron spin quantum number and it is written as m s okay it is written as m s electron spin quantum number always has two value one is plus half and another one is minus half okay if an electron is rotating in a clockwise direction then its electron spin quantum number is plus half and if an electron is rotating in an anti clockwise direction then its electron spin quantum number is minus half so in a case of singlet state one electron has positive half ms value and another electron which is rotating in an anti clockwise direction has minus half ms value in case of triplet state both the electron are rotating in a clockwise direction so both the electrons have plus half ms value got it now student <laughs> Let's talk about some another important things for singlet state and triplet state. Student, singlet state is high energy state and triplet state is lower energy state. It means singlet state is less stable and triplet state is more stable. Okay, so the energy of singlet state and stability of singlet state and energy of triplet state and stability of triplet state is defined or it find out by using a term and the term is spin multiplicity so let's find out the stability and energy level of singlet state and triplet state by using a term spin multiplicity okay spin multiplicity student the formula of spin multiplicity is two s plus one okay two s plus one and where s is the s is the total spin okay s is the total spin and it is calculated by using formula s is equal to s1 plus s2 okay so let's find out the energy and stability of singlet state by using the formula spin multiplicity and total spin okay first we are going to calculate total spin by using the electron spin quantum number value okay first electron have plus half ms value so we are going to put this value in total spin formula plus half and then plus and second spin value is minus half so plus minus will cancel each other and the total spin value is zero now put this value zero in the formula of spin multipli multiplicity which is 2s plus 1 so 2 into 0 plus 1 0 plus 1 it means 1 it means the spin multiplicity value of singlet state is 1 okay now let's find out the spin multiplicity value of the triplet state 
first we are going to calculate the total spin by using formula s1 plus s2 and both the electrons have plus half value so the total spin multiplicity value is 1 now put this total spin value in the formula of spin multiplicity that is 2s plus 1 now 2 into 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 it means singlet state have multi spin multiplicity 1 and triplet state have spin multiplicity of 3 okay student if spin multiplicity value is less it means it having more stable and it is it is less stable and if spin multiplicity value is high it means it is more stable so you can say that singlet state is less stable than triplet state okay and if stability is less it means energy is high so you can say that singlet state have high energetic state and triplet state is a low energetic state so on the basis of spin multiplicity we have find out the stability and energy level so singlet state have high energetic state and less stable and triplet state is a low energetic state and high stable okay so the spin multiplicity value of singlet state is 1 and the spin multiplicity value of triplet state is 3 okay now let's draw the singlet state and triplet state with the help of a diagram okay suppose that it is singlet state and it is a triplet state we are going to represent singlet state by using the word s and triplet state by using the word t i will draw with a white chalk this is s and this is t now singlet state have high energy level so it is draw slightly up for from the triplet state and it is less stable now triplet state is more stable but it is have a less energy level so it is draw slightly below from the singlet state okay students and we are going to represent this singlet state and triplet state in our next video which is based on the jablonski diagram okay friends so i hope this video will help you to understand about the process of delayed in case of phosphorus and instant emission in case of fluorescence okay friends i hope you like this video and please if you like this video then please share this video with your friends and please do subscribe our channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon so next time when we upload a new video you will get the notification okay friends thank you for your presence hearing have a nice day